Welcome to my Tohoku trip video. I drove on my first day all the way from Hakone in Kanagawa to Gibike, which is close to Ichinoseki in Iwata Prefecture. Along the way I had various weather conditions, such as sunshine and rain. Here I'm at the stopping area, taking a break, because it's a long drive. After continuation for another few hours, I reached the end of the highway, where I had to pay a total of 10,000 yen. Here you can see some impressions from the city of GVK, which also has an old train road passing through, with just a single train track and a very old bridge which is crossing the river into which is a very famous sightseeing spot this is a nice temple I could find when I was cycling around the next morning I could enjoy a local drive through the countryside of Iwate. Along the road I could find also some small shops, or not even shops, these are just stands where they are selling fruits for very affordable prices. And this is just a small impression to see how small this snail was. Along the way I found many other interesting things, such as the Statue of Liberty and this fuso bus, which was turned into a shed. And afterwards also I found this second-hand shop, which was a car shop at the same time, and they had a lot of interesting things for sale. Unfortunately it was closed this day. One of my targets for this trip was to visit the Toyota Motor East Japan factory where they did a Toyota festival. There you could see for example this Lexus LFA race car and some other tuners with their products. 
After this festival I had to cross the mountain so I had to fill up the car and I went to this gasoline stand called Gasoline Girl. I enter here into Akita Prefecture. I stopped over in the city of Matsuda, which is close to Yokote, and it is a very traditional town with a calm atmosphere. I also came across this group of small Honda bikes in this city.
My next target was Hokodate, which is a big mountain on the seaside on the border between Yamaguchi and Akita Prefecture. And the view from there was amazing. I managed to also capture this rare phenomenon where I put my see myself in, an, in a rainbow circle. The sun was setting slowly so I could enjoy the sunset from the mountain. Afterwards I went down the mountain again towards Sakata, where I stayed in a hotel. The next morning I went cycling around Sakata. Here you can see an impression from the harbour. And this is an old site which has old rice storage houses. When I was there, there was nobody around, so I enjoyed this impression. Afterwards I continued cycling towards uh, a hill near the seaside which had this old temple After Sakata I continued towards Yamaguchi city And from there onwards I continued east of Yamagata city towards the volcano called Okama. I was very lucky with the weather to catch it just before all the clouds started to roll in.
The trip then continued to Fukushima, where I stayed the night in Tsuchiyu Onsen. The next morning I went to Ibiza Circuit. It's one of my favorite spots to go to when I make a trip into Ohoku. So a lot of things to see there as well, even on a weekday. I drove via the small roads towards Nico and I came across this nice big lake with stunning views. I rode back home by the highway towards Kansas. 